it is time. We are down to the final four towers. I chose Frozen Over because this guy's tech will need a cool down. And the only person that comes to mind is the Engineer, costing an EC480 so we can easily get him at the start of this round. Yo, what's up? It's Naj Room, and I'm playing with the Ultimate Crosspath mod once again, meaning we can get the fifth tier of each path all in the same tower. Now, last time I did use the Ninja, and early on, although he did suck, he picked up the pace later down the road. And I'm assuming this Engineer is going to be in a similar fashion. We can easily start with him, so we can go ahead and start the game here, and we can almost get his top path here. That is, if we don't lose here, man. This is already looking kind of rough. Should we get oversized nails or save up for Sentry Gun? I want to save up for Sentry Gun, but I don't think we can. Oh, yeah, we should be able to get it right and there we go i feel like early on he's gonna do pretty well though because he has all types of popping power his top path has the sentries that can hit pretty much anything his middle path has camera attack and his bottom path are really good for capturing those moabs with his trap ability speaking of which how much do his upgrades actually cost we have century 38,000, not bad ultra boost 126,000, and triple xl trap for a whopping 64k so definitely need to do some farming for this guy the good news is once we get far enough in his bottom path he'll actually be able to make us more money but we could easily just use a farm for that as well i'm actually kind of excited for this guy man i think this is a great map for him right the balloons loop around multiple times i wanted to get his trap right here so even when the balloons come up here they get hit in it and then once he needs to put it down again the balloons have plenty of time to get around here just to hit the trap again i think it'll be a good spot since we're not struggling right now i should be doing some farming right i really do want to save for Geraldo's totem so we need like 300 dollars more all right we should have enough right i'm gonna put him back here in this corner and where should i put this where should i put this oh right there i panicked <laughs> we got it right before the round ended man all right and this will make us a little bit of income and then i'll go into a farm i usually put this down in case we need to sell it for an emergency see which might be right now okay we handled that one i got a little word man faster engineering now nah, let's go for oversize i think oversize is going to be better here right and then we can go straight into pin because it's really cheap here yeah there we go let's go into pin now and that's a lot of extra popping power here especially when they're pinned in place i think when they're pinned any other blue that touches them gets popped right or is that not a thing let me read it pins move in place for a short time when struck okay so no these are a little fast here let's go ahead and get double gun here i feel like that'll add a lot to our popping power and oh dude i completely forgot what we need to save up for leads what are we gonna do for these leads man it's one of these paths right faster engineering sprockets oh dude we have to go through sprockets before we get the upgrade for lead popping power man camo the first camos can get hit by this pile so i'm not too worried about it yeah it's not a problem oh wait 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 a minute cleansing foam how much is this sprays foam that removes camo and regrow and pops lead balloons okay let's actually save up for that one because i think that one's actually going to be the one we use but that one can go ahead and go to the exit you know we have a spike pile waiting for him. i trust that we can get cleansing foam before we get this upgrade that pops lead so oh don't tell me i have to reset man we make a thousand in this round right we have two rounds we have this round and the next round to make a thousand i think we got it then we can do some farming he actually has pretty good damage here between his turrets i don't think his turrets can pin can they oh they can that's actually really useful or is that him i can't even tell man let's get cleansing comb here and where should we target it i actually can't click the target so we gotta wait for them to get right there they're getting pinned all the way right here so i'm assuming oh wait yeah how are they getting popped <laughs> what i'm so confused i'm assuming one of these paths gives them that type of lead popping power because i know the cleansing foam isn't hitting yet i actually can't target the cleansing foam like normal so it's just gonna stay there for now which is a really bad spot right we really want the foam like up here yeah look at this man okay so at least it hits him right here so that's not bad Dude, can i please target this what do i need to target it let's go ahead and get Ooh, now nah, let's not get sprockets let's go ahead and start farming here i will throw my farm all the way up here let's get this top path here and eventually i will rush bottom path because i think how he is right now he can handle the moab i will go ahead and get sprockets just in case for that extra damage for that attack speed for that extra attack speed for the ng and that should be oh now he looks really weird look at him every time he's shooting it looks like he's slapping down his wrench man that's like he's throwing his wrench and that's his damage that's really weird oh but can i target him now or nah i still can't maybe i should have gone his middle path first targeted his soap and then gone the other path speaking of paths let's go back to this farm and get this bottom path here we need like 400 more walk a place there we go yeah i'm still not sure how this guy's actually popping leads right now because i figured the only way he could was the middle path with the cleansing foam or with the top path with these the sentry expert but i mean i guess the cleansing foam is meshing with the top path so it gives the sentries the ability to hit leads i think that's what's going on here because i don't remember the bottom path being able to hit leads until you get the blue trap let's go ahead and go sentry expert for that extra damage for this moab but we should be fine you know we shouldn't really have to worry about anything anytime soon how's this moab damage here oh yeah we got this easy easy easily got that nice that's right the middle path also does have extra damage against moabs the second tier here so we should be good for a while i don't think this guy's gonna lose on 49 like the ninja did because he has so many centuries and they're actually overlapping a little bit they look like both the first tier and the fourth tier of the centuries man that looks really weird still can't target this guy you know what i might do actually i'm gonna sell this guy and buy him back i know we're gonna be losing a little bit of income but i really think it's gonna be beneficial for us if we can get his little camel pile here his soap right here yeah if i switch these nothing happens so let's go ahead and sell let's get bob 
back up where he is and i think this is a good spot too we'll target this right here so it's bright and early on the map and let's go ahead and get the pass that we had before and i think that's what we had right and we're down what like 2k from where we were so that's not too bad and now we have it targeted there yeah we can no longer target him man it's really weird dude if i had to be honest i'm actually very excited to kind of finish these five five fives mainly because i have so many more creative ideas that i want to do for the balloons community man and of course the five five fives you know once you've seen like 20 of them you've kind of seen the last two so you kind of do want to move on to the next topic and i've been wanting to move on i mean it's still fun kind of testing them out and seeing how they do but i would love to see them against like boss battles or against odysseys you know other crazy things like that the one thing that does kind of concern me is i think if we try like the ranked version of some of these it can cause our account to get flagged or maybe just trying the event in general so i will have to make a brand new account just to do these mods so essentially i'm starting from zero speaking of zero we're about to have zero lives with the way these ceramics were getting past here man but as i was saying so i think i'm definitely gonna have to start a new account and i guess we can just do stuff with that right like taking on the different maps using the different mods and i think that'll be a fun experience for all of us you know a fresh start at the game with a fresh new set of mods although the 555 was probably my favorite i might still leave that one on you know just cause but i also might limit it so instead of us getting all five of the normal paths we can only get seven in total like in the normal game however we could put those seven wherever so it could be like three here three here and two there that's seven right one, two three four five six seven no that's eight so three here three here like one here right you know just to mix it up just a little bit all right let's go ahead and go banana plantation here with long life and valuable bananas and also banana research facility oh wait wait a minute should i have gone damaged well i think i should have gone damaged here hold up oh he froze him with the frozen one dude that one's so good we pop this and freeze it again please oh so close okay you know what we need some more damage here man let's go ahead and get balloon trap and i actually cannot target this one either so it stays right there luckily it is hitting them as they're going through here and if we can pop them before they get here we can also get them in there as well oh 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 no oh the stun and the yellow balloon is going to get hit by this power right here but still we need more damage because that's way too close 55 should get it completely eaten here and here what path should we go now man should we go century champion or xxl i think century champion because that's going to be the cheapest one should be able to get to that one really soon actually can i sell this for it this costs 14k you know what oh oh oh, oh. what's going on here oh, we got it in the trap oh i like that so he moves his soap wherever he needs it okay that's really cool let me go ahead and sell this and i will go ahead and get century champion here just because i am kind of worried that you know these are getting a little far century champion so these guys are going to have that extra damage to moabs although they probably already have that in the base tower right so the only thing that's new here is these things can also pin balloons across the track and you know what this guy actually has a paragon so by the end we actually could test him against his paragon counterpart now we actually don't need Jerome anytime soon so i can go ahead and sell this guy oh wait let's go ahead and buy his nft again just because we can and then we'll sell him goodbye mr g your services are no longer needed and i will go ahead and go bottom path for this farm here we need 2k more so i think after this bfb which it handles beautifully doesn't even get past this first bend here we'll go right into this farm get that central marketplace up and we should be good on income for a while 63 we should handle like a champ we have the century paragons and we also have this trap here i really wish i could move it up near the beginning of the map so we're making extra income but that is what it is we have plenty of income from the farm so i'm not too worried about what the trap does but we can't afford an overclock we could overclock himself i think that's a thing right or we'll have to see when the time comes i'm thinking maybe if we go this path all the way we'll be able to get that targeting back that's what i'm thinking because i really do want to target this thing but this isn't a bad spot right here and if i really needed to i could move him like right here to get this directly here in the center but i don't think we need to do all that extra moving right so on his own i feel like he can actually get very far the main thing that does concern me is his bad damage like are these sentries gonna have enough popping power to take down that bad you know what's actually disappointing his paragon doesn't have the bottom path at all like i feel like that's such a crucial part of the engineer is having that bottom path and they completely didn't add it in so when the paragon first released i actually was very disappointed with the way it was but i mean it has great damage like don't get me wrong oh wait what's going on here oh wait we got it we got it oh wait 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 no that's a loss isn't it wait a minute do i need to get a camel village for this guy can we eat that please tell me we can eat it oh yes but there's more oh wait 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 wait, 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 wait. wait i am not losing here this guy needs a camel village man he has camel detect but it's not enough he needs to get himself a camel village and that is in range here one two <laughs> because we can't have that happening man what was i even saying oh yeah i was talking about his damage right i was talking about the paragon yeah the engineer paragon totally doesn't have the bottom path which is it's so weird man i always felt like his bottom path should still be able to take down the zomgs and ddts but now he has like an ability where when he sets down his trap it can now eat bats and he can only do that like well, like three times around you know the same as the buccaneer paragon i think that would be balanced and for the ace paragon when that one comes out because i know that one's next i think something similar with the ability where it can drop a nuke that can take out bads and fortified bads but he can only use it like three times per round to keep it balanced i think that would be the most efficient way to do it but who knows i'm not a dev i'm pretty sure they've already thought this stuff through so we have quite a bit of income here but i am going to go ahead and go banana central because we have the damage the only thing we were really missing was that camel detect and we have this it's just not reliable that's honestly why i don't like using the engineer in most maps just because his camel really isn't that reliable 
possible. I'd much rather go like a druid middle pass for that extra popping power or go the wizard if I really want that camo and get that same druid like effect. You know what I mean? With like the wall of fire and the vines, how it could just eat so many balloons. This little Riga rainbow here. Oh my. Dude, I'm glad we have this. Bro, if we didn't have this, we probably would have lost. Because I think the explosions caused so many of those regrows to spawn. Speaking of regrows, let us go back to this and grow more bananas with a monkey Wall Street. That should be the end of farming for this guy. Actually, I want to see if we can overclock himself. Let's see. Can he overclock himself? And yes, he can. Does it work for these though? It looks like it. Let's go ahead and tech bot him. I will set this tech bot all the way out here on this island by himself. And we will get him tech bot. Him. It's kind of weird, man. We tech botted himself to engineer himself, but it makes sense. Now his paragon does the same thing. We just don't see it. But he's got plenty of damage here. I do want to see how he deals with the ZOMG. I think the ZOMG is not really going to get past this loop right here because we have so much damage, so many turrets here as well. And actually, I think he's shooting out way more than normal that might be the combination of him being overclocked he's able to shoot out more of these turrets all right here we go round eddie what are we doing here he is nice and overclocked this thing already has two ticks of damage three four and it is popped not getting around this band just like we predicted so yeah i have high hopes for this guy speaking of high hopes let's go ahead and get his xxxl trap which we still can't target anywhere other than here nice i still think i should move him right here but i think it still has the range to hit balloons as they're coming up here right because they come up this way they loop around here and i think like the corner of the balloon touches this so they get even and you know what maybe it's actually good being like this the sentries can nick down most of the rbe on these moabs that way this has more space to eat more oh dude look how fast these things are shooting man and that's without the ultra boost so far this guy's paths have been meshing really well like his top path the sentries are getting that extra damage from the middle path and the attack speed from the overclock the bottom path does kind of sit on its own and i don't know if any of these other damage or speed modifiers actually increase this from the trap but i mean the trap in itself is powerful and it actually hits these moabs from very far like it ate that zoom when it was right here same with these bfbs so that's actually really good too Oh, I think when he's overclocked, he'll be able to throw these traps down more. So these things should always be up. So the main thing we really have to worry about is just bads. If a bad pops anywhere past here, then that's GG's because our trap won't get thrown to it. And we won't have enough damage to get rid of the insides. It's eating these ZOMGs when they're right here, man. Speaking of beautiful, let us go ahead and get this beautiful ultra boost on him. That way his turrets can get even more attack speed and really carry through the 90s. There we go. Look at that. He can only overclock himself three times per round though, which kind of does suck. But eventually, not only will he overclock himself, but we'll also have the gold village to overclock him as well. And I don't think the gold village actually has a cap for how many times it can overclock or ultra boost sorry i meant ultra boost but i kept saying overclock but you guys know what i meant ddt's handled absolutely well but we kind of already knew he'd handle ddt's it's literally just the bads i'm kind of worried about i have to see his damage on round 100 before i can make an accurate prediction but as he is right now if there were no bads i think he could easily get into like the 130s as he is now but since there are bads i think it might take him a little bit long to actually take those down so we'll have to see even his turrets have great damage on ddt's man these things just have a lot of damage dude how many are on the map at once one two three eight nine about ten but the tenth one is exploding or 11. The 11th one is only when one's about to explode. And that was round 94. We easily handled like a champ. Didn't even get past this first Ben here still. And these DDTs might not even get past this Ben. And if they do, they'll all get eaten up by this trap here. Easy, easy. Oh, actually, yeah, they're getting eaten right here, man. I didn't realize this thing could stretch that far. Maybe DDTs have a larger hitbox than what I'm thinking. But yeah, he is easily handling these rounds, man. Dude, I'll be honest. His sentries are doing way more damage than I thought they'd be doing. I think he just got a buff in the last update, right? Because these things were kind of underperforming. There's obviously way more than I've ever seen him have before. And these things are shooting way faster because he does ultra boost himself yeah even these are gonna get eaten up instantly right a whole fortified zomg gets eaten and the next one is down to eat the next one Oh, wait, I missed it. It has to be within like a one pixel for it to eat a ZOMG. But dude, look at this. This is round 98, man. Round 98, and we are just eating this round. We are tanking the round. No worries, no sweat. Oh, wait, I'm sweating a little bit. Okay, we eat it. Okay, cool. No, it was a little heavy, right? A little heavy RBE, but eventually we do eat it all. All right, here we go. Round 100. Already has one tick of damage. Again, we can't eat it with our trap. Two ticks of damage, though. But we have a lot of damage. Oh, yeah, it's about to pop. GG's for this bad. Sorry, Mr. Bad, but your services are no longer needed. And we get an engineer as the insta monkey, man. Wow. It's like the the game knows when we're actually using to beat this. We got to see how far this guy can go. Let us go ahead and fast forward this bad boy. Now for predictions. The bad got all the way right here before it popped, right? So that's not bad, but also it's not too good either. That's kind of like, that's kind of mid, right? He has great damage for the ZOMGs, the DDTs, because he can easily eat them up in his trap. However, the bads are what I'm really worried about. So I think because of those, he might make it to, I'm thinking like round 120. 120 is a good one to go on. Like 122, 123. We'll go an odd number this time. 123, unless it's now. Unless we lose at 103. No way, man. That's got to be a hoax, right? No way midway through predictions he loses, man. All right. Play this back and take this nice and slow. Because 
There's no way. Dude, I hate when that happens, man. I hate when I'm midway through my predictions of how he does normally. He just loses, man. Oh, yeah. It looks like just 103 is it, man. Oh, my goodness. He did so good on 100 that he just loses 103? That's just wild, man. That's crazy. All righty. Let's get this guy some buffs. So starting off, we can go ahead and sell this because we will get ourselves up this golden village up here. Bottom path first. And I need another one right here for top path, right? And right here will be for top path. Oh, I don't have enough capital. What? Oh, dude. This is the problem when they lose so early, man. I don't have the capital for it. How much is Geraldo's totem made? 76,000. Okay, I will buy this. I'll sell that. And we have a little bit of extra capital. I think instead of going this top path here and saving up for that, I will go ahead and go the reactor here. Put the reactor all, all the way down here. This is the great spot for the reactor down here. He's not a water-based monkey, so his cooldown won't get reduced by half. But I think this is as good as we can do for now. Go ahead and play this. And I will need to make sure that this guy is targeting him. Yeah, he is perma brood. He has all these buffs. Cool. We just need to get this guy targeting him. And like before, I will take the overclock first and then I will go for the ultra boost as well. I don't think it's double ultra, right? Yeah, there's no double ultras. It's just that this guy's ultra won't go down anytime soon. We can keep on using it round after round after round. Or we can keep on using it after it's been used three times. Let me go ahead and get another tech bot on this other island. Give this guy a little company here. And we will tech bot the blue one. The gold one we don't need to worry about anytime soon. <laughs> oh, that's just an explosion of fire to indicate this guy is active. All these centuries are getting buffed. Wait a minute. How many centuries are on the map right now, man? Wait, two, three, four, five. I, I can't even count, bro. There's got to be over 20 centuries here, right? This guy is just launching centuries, man. So it is confirmed. The faster this guy fires, the more centuries he can get down on the track. And he's handling these rounds like a champ, man. So I'm assuming most of the damage is now going to come from these centuries. They have so much more damage and they have so much more pierce and attack speed now. It's going to be very hard for balloons to try to make it past. And even when balloons do make it past, we have this little trap to catch anything that's slipping by. So we have a lot going for us right now. Now we do have more income, so I will go ahead and get the true vengeful. If my game doesn't crash, and we're about to have enough for a Geraldo's goodness as well. So that's even more, man. Holy. I think I might treat this guy the same as a ninja where I untech bot the blue one because we don't need the blue one right away. So I will untech bot this. We don't need all that extra damage yet. And instead, what I'll go for is Geraldo's goodness right here as my game just completely freezes. I'm just going to play in a second, right? Yeah, there it goes. See, I have faith now that when my game freezes, it'll start playing. Dude, look at this solid beam of destruction, man. This beam rivals that of the Ray of Doom. It's very laggy though, man. Very, very laggy. It's because all these moving parts that it has here, not only is he sending out more, but they all have lightning around them and they explode and they spin and explode. This is a lot for my game to handle right now. And this guy actually has a lot of range, dude. <laughs> Why does he have so much range? I just see him shooting a singular dart. Dude, his dart must be cracked, man. Look at this guy's main attack here. It's like a green nail. It actually looks really cool. Alrighty, as for predictions, without having buffs, he only got to round 103, which I still think is a hoax, but he just got overloaded with blues, right? So with buffs, much more attack speed, much more damage, much more pierce. This guy's gonna last a while. I think he's honestly on the same plane of damage as the ninja and the buccaneer, so because the ninja got to like 250 something, but the ninja also had extra people helping him. But this guy has his extra centuries helping him. So that's why I'm thinking he's kind of similar to the ninja. You know, we're at round 111, and so far, no balloons are really getting past this mark right here. Like, barely seen anything. I'm gonna put him up there with a the ninja. I'm gonna say like 232 for this guy. I might be highballing it, but I am very confident that this guy can really perform. He's got so many centuries, so many different things attacking, and also he has this trap for all the things that are really having to take down. I am sticking with 232. Round 232 is when this guy will drop, and if it's not round 232, it'll probably be like 228, and it might be within five rounds of that. Five rounds minus or five rounds plus, plus or minus, right? But like always, we'll have to go AFK and see how this guy does. So I'll catch you guys when this guy loses. Alrighty, what do we got going on here? A fortified bat. Ooh, those DDTs got far. Wait. Yo, okay, you know what? These DDTs are real fast and they're getting real far. This actually might be the round for him, man. 251. Holy. What if I guess like 223, 232? Even then, this is still way beyond that. I mean, who knows? Because if the sentries are hitting in the right area, then all the DDTs will get popped. Oh, wait, is that another one? Wait, there's another fortified bat at the very back. Wait a minute. And then another bat is arriving. That was just normal, though. So I think we can handle the normal ones. Because I feel like the DDTs move so fast. We literally only have like, what, one to two chances to actually deal damage to them. So if it's fortified, then we need like two to four chances. Oh man, dude, this guy's taking so long though, man. I've been recording this guy for what, like five, six hours? In the time I've been recording this, I've actually been able to edit most of the footage that I got earlier from this tower itself. And I built the whole aerodynamic chair. Or is it an aeronomic? An ergonomic, ergonomic chair. Remember that ergonomic chair I was talking about? Yeah, I built that. It is fully built. And actually I recorded the entire process of me building it. So I'm probably gonna edit that down into a time-lapse, maybe add some 
something funny at the beginning and end and get that posted on my extra channel. So if you guys ever want to see some extra Nausea Room content, I'll put the link for that channel in the description so you can check that out. And if you want to talk to me in general, be sure to join the Discord. I'm always talking in there and we talk about things like video ideas, memes, other content, and all the things in between. We're building a great community there and we'd love to have you there too. As for this engineer, I don't think he's gonna make it though because these bads are getting far. This guy is already more than halfway through the track just now getting two bandages on him. Again, what I'm really worried about here are the DDTs. Look, we're about to pop these two fortified bats at the same time, so that's gonna be a whole massive wave of DDTs here. Oh yeah, they're gone. Oh, we pop them last second. Oh, what about this guy? This guy's even farther. He's getting even farther. Those DDTs are gone. No, we popped them too. Oh my goodness, man. This guy is so weird, dude. I've actually lost this game like five to six times, but every time what I do is I just play the round over again and he somehow wins. Cause he literally lost it like round 217. He lost it round 220. He lost it round 240. And then he lost it round 251. But he just beat it now. You know what? I've been recording this guy too long. I was rooting for him at the beginning, but now I'm on the opposite team. We got to get this guy losing, man. The next time he loses, we're just going to call it for him and go ahead and get that Paragon, man. Cause I've been editing this too long and I am running out of energy. Anas room only has so much energy in the day, man. We did a lot of recording for this tower. I did a lot of recording in terms of building a chair. And here we are seven hours into the recording of this guy and he still hasn't lost yet. Now I will say I haven't been directly recording this for seven hours straight. It's just been seven hours. Cause what I normally do is after we make our initial prediction, I stop the recording, let this guy get as far as he can. And then when he does lose, I hit the continue button and then I record again. But usually what happens is they lose again and then we can move on to getting the Paragon. But this guy hasn't lost. What's always been happening is I go and I record my entire reaction to it. I record everything I want to say. And then he just beats the round. <laughs> so I don't even know what's going on with this guy. He might even be this round. Yes, there are a lot of fortified bats here and regular bats, but somehow he manages to pull through. I don't know how he does it. He just does. Honestly, this wouldn't be so bad if it just wasn't so laggy, dude. Like if it was running at twice the speed it was now, I'd be fine. There we go. Finally, we lost. Finally, there we go. That's what I'm saying, man. If it's running at normal speed, we just lose. I bet if I played this back again, he would win, but I'm sick and tired of seeing this guy, man. I'll be honest. It is time to compare this guy to his Paragon, but we do have a problem here, right? So the problem with his Paragon is we do need a little bit of time to get all of his turrets up. So I'm not too sure how I want to go about that. I'll go ahead and put all the extra towers down that we need. I don't know how many of these we need either. So I'm just going to put a whole bunch, dude. I don't think I'll cover the entire map, but okay. So I think this should be enough. And actually, I don't even have enough to get this master builder anymore. So I will have to go ahead and sell this farm up here. Since it will take us some time to actually get this guy's turrets up, I kind of want to have a triple five up with the Paragon, you know, just to help him get through that early round so we can get all of his damage out. And then the next round, we'll be able to sell the 555 and just see how the Paragon is on his own. So actually, I think I will need to sell a few of these guys, maybe these four. If I sell these four, do we still get the Paragon? Because I do need capital to be able to get another 555 up. I'll just go ahead. I wish I could make this guy it, but we will go ahead and make this guy the master builder. And it should be Paragon 100 if we did everything right. Right? 98? Are you kidding me? Oh, no, nah, dude. Look, I can't go back out of this game because if I back out, the gold village has trouble loading any of its sprites and the game usually won't load again. That's how it crashed the first time when I was trying the Buccaneer. So we got to stick with the 98. I mean, he looks kind of beefy though. I ain't gonna lie. So he should be able to do something here, right? But I kind of do still want to get that 555 up just so we can get this guy's turrets down because I want it to be a fair fight, right? So I will put this guy back here again. Let us go this top path, middle path here. And we should also have income for us to get this top path village again, right? Oh, no. No, it crashed. Now there it goes. All right, cool. We got it. Let's take this nice and slow. Uh oh, he needs to overclock himself first. And our master builder needs to throw down. Oh, that just got thrown on here without me actually clicking it. Okay. I literally tapped the ability and it put it down where it is now. And the game is frozen. Dude, this is probably the most scuffed Paragon test, right? But we do have to wait for all of his turrets to get up. I'll try to aim this thing as best as I can. I know it's a terrible spot for the turret. I did not choose this location, all right? It chose itself. I tapped the ability, it lagged, and it thought I tapped twice. But I think it's a lot of damage coming from both of these towers combined, man. But our other turret's about to be up. Where should I put this guy? I think I'll put him... Um, I think right here's a good spot, right? And then we just have one more. And then once we get the last one up, I guess we can go ahead and sell the other guy, right? I mean, the good thing about this Paragon, though, is he can pin the DDTs when they do release. All right, we got the last one. So where do I put the last one, though? Over here again, too? This has a lot of range. Let's just drop it down right there because we need to up ASAP. Oh, the game's running smooth now. But do we actually beat this? Oh, no, these guys are very far. I don't know if you even beat this with both of them. Again, that's kind of another problem I have with the Engineer Paragon. It's like, you have to do so much to really get them up there. You can't just get them and it's instantly GG. It's like, you have to place his turrets. In this one, you have to micromanage. And you guys know I really hate micro, so this guy's just not my type of Paragon, man. 
Yeah, that looks like it's about to be GG's. Yeah, that's a GG's. However, if I do continue here, I think we can actually sell the other tower, like sell the 555 and just have the pair going to be fine. So if I go ahead and sell this 555, <laughs> the game's going to lag when I sell them. And now we have the degree 98 Paragon with all three of his turrets up. And I don't know what's the best spots for all of his turrets. I think this is pretty good. I might have to move this one further back if he has infinite pierce. So yeah, let me take this kind of slow. Oh, geez, there it goes again. I should have got rid of the golden villages, right? That's where the real lag is. It's not the 555s, it's the villages. And let me try to move this guy. I think all the way right here is actually a best spot for him because they'll have the most pierce. All right, let's see what this Paragon's doing here. And it doesn't look like he's doing too hot because I think we popped this already when we had both of them up. Yeah, this guy is struggling here, man. At least the game's running smooth, right? I don't even know why I tried these Paragons out, man. We already know the 555s easily better, easily. But alrighty, man, round 252 with 1.1 billion pops, short 100 million pops from the total pop count. The 555 engineer goes down. This guy actually did way better than I thought. And honestly, isn't this the same exact round as the Buccaneer? How come it's always these fast attacking towers going down at the same round? This must just be a really bad round for them, man. You think the Super Monkey's gonna get down at this round as well? Or well, for the 555, not only does he have lots of damage, he also looks really cool. This is my favorite fifth tier sprite form. You know, I ranked this in S tier when I did my tier list. And I also love the projectiles his sentry shoot out as he's attacking. As for downsides, the only thing I don't like about him is the lag. He has a lot of projectiles and I'm assuming that's the cause of all the lag in addition to all the gold villages. So there's not much we can really do there. But all in all, great tower. Will I use them again? Probably not, but I'm glad we got it out of the way. As for the other towers, I'm very excited to see what those ones do, especially the super monkey, but we'll have to see for ourselves.